Yeah. Okay, I'm in there. Um, I am sitting at my re-established end of my bed nook. Um, so I'm going to be diving into some feelings around being blind and disabled and some thoughts that I'm having. Um, <sighs> yeah, as usual, to get the full Canvas experience, get on over to YouTube and Facebook. Um, so, I've been doing a lot of work and showing up um, and trying to put myself out there professionally and rebuild my band business and rebrand myself and blah, 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 blah. And, um, and it requires me to do a lot of social media -ing and interactions and putting myself out there. And then, so I haven't been doing as much as my own personal, like, diarrhea-ing <laughs> and social media-ing. And, um, other than, like I said, the dating thing. And that's, like, another big stretch area for me. That's, like, bringing up a lot of stuff. Um, and so I personally am in a place of wanting to create and doing a lot of work and restoring the balance of um, my personal life and my professional life, um, who I am in all the ways that I am, <laughs> and making sure I am tending to, I am tending to all the parts of me. I'm stuck. Um, now, within that, I hope you saw my post from this morning, but um, this idea of having a personal care attendant. Somebody I met off a dating site brought it up, asked if I have a personal care attendant, and so my honest internal visceral experience when I heard that, like, so the first response was, no, I wish, like, God, would that be fucking great? And then my second response is, oh my God, do I seem, am I that disabled? Am I that needy? And then my third response <laughs> is fear of the unknown, um, like trusting someone like that, um, and then whew, so. Basically, like, yeah, I need help. <laughs> I can't take care of myself by myself anymore. And, um, admitting that out loud and saying it from a place of empowerment and security and, um, so for me, like what I'm really leaning into today is I'm feeling like I really need to lean into my disability more and into my neediness and that scares the shit out of me. Um, but in order for me to regain some independence, I need to establish some interdependence. Um, sorry, I was hearing a weird noise, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on. But then, for one, like, I don't have the support 
or know where to begin to try to get a personal care attendant. Paperwork, the internet, uh, getting places if I have to get somewhere, um, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then the reality of, because of my choices in my life, and what I'm looking to do with myself in my life, and a lot of the areas that I need support with, um, aren't really societally or governmentally acceptable. Um, you know, when I've worked with tech trainers and when I've worked with these different programs in the past, you know, I tell them about what they do, what I do, but only to a certain extent. And, you know, there's certain areas, like, I don't, I don't feel safe. I don't. You know, I don't feel like they would, they could or would support me. Um, and that's a, yeah, but either way, you know, like, <sighs> I need support. <laughs> like, I am uh, just fumbling around, man. And I'm doing really fucking good at fumbling. I'm doing better than I have in a long time at this whole not knowing what I'm doing blind thing. <laughs> but, like, holy shit, like, I still, you know, I still do not have all my needs met. I'll actually stop. I still don't know how I'm going to get my needs met. Um... Like, my basic, you know, needs are met, and I'm really grateful. Like, that's another area, like, being grateful for all that I do have and all that I am able to do for myself and all that I have experienced. Like, but not giving up. Not just sitting pretty and getting comfortable and settling. That's not feel good to me. I want to grow. I want to expand. I want to go. I don't want to be stuck here in New Hampshire. Um, I want to get back to traveling. I want to live somewhere warmer. I want to live somewhere with more conscious community. I want conscious temple mates and community and family and tribe um, and so I'm uh, really trying to get clear on like what is this that I'm supposed to be doing both on the essence of now finding my peace and joy and gratitude and expansion and getting my needs met right here in New Hampshire right now with everything that I have as well as putting my energy and attention into going where I want to go and expanding and growing. And yeah, stagnancy doesn't feel good to me. Um, and I've been experiencing a lot of that. <laughs> and so I've been uncomfortable and I am looking to change that. And um, so, yeah, um, if you know anything about, um, getting a personal care attendant and you're open to informing me or helping me, let me know. <laughs> if you are local to New Hampshire, and interested and available, curious of how you could be of support and service. Um, this could also be a sweet exchange, an exchange for my services. Um, and there's also many ways you can support me virtually, non-locally, um, in matters of temple and bringing the temple alive virtually, um, which is happening. Um, I just put out 
and proposed my first event to Love Coach Academy in a event that I've done many a times and um, just calling in and bringing it alive virtually and with the Love Coach Academy community and maybe some light touch and Carezza. We definitely have Carezza. So, but um, yeah, so. <sighs> but yeah, you gotta balance. Like, I, there's a lot that I'm trying to bring alive professionally and getting my needs met and being able to do all that. Like, my, that's my emotional and spiritual care. Like, tempo matters. That's my emotional and spiritual care, you know? Um, when I'm not showing up in service and doing my magic, it doesn't feel good. But especially now as a newly blind person and with everything going on in my world, like I have some other background logistical stuff to figure out um, for my overall well-being and homeostasis. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. I just needed to emote a little bit. And, um, yeah. <sighs> okay. Bye, guys. Oh, I was planning on, I was going to do some meditation with you, and I grabbed my, um, my journal and my, I have, um, my tuning fork, but my mom just woke up, and so I'm feeling a little less present, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go now, and um, yeah, I'll probably be back later with something for you, though. Bye!